Talk Squava. Welcome back to my channel. My name is AC Coquit and this is What's the Wahala AC where we discuss all the Wahala from the week. The Aces, the Las Vegas Aces are in the finals. We are 2-0 right now. So if you are not watching, make sure you are watching the WNBA finals. Okay, we are killing it. Anyway, the finals are heating up and so is the Wahala. So let's get to it. It is time for our big three. Cause we the big three, don't need a big speech. We made the biggest impact. Check the spreadsheet. To start off our big three, we have Ray J. Ray J has been going in on Chris Jenner and the rest of the Kardashians, mostly Kim. He is alleging that they signed a contract, that Chris watched the sex tape, and they made two other sex tapes that Chris watched and she approved which one she liked the best. He was going in. He said that he is the wrong black man to mess with and he is not holding back. That he is going to sue Chris and Kim for kind of pushing him to the side, not paying him what he's owed. He was going in for like 45 minutes on live. There was even a fly that landed on him and he was like, oh no, Chris, Chris Jenner is throwing everybody at me. And also the live was glitching. It was funny, Ray J's a character. But as to these claims, I have no idea if they were they are real. There were contracts that he did show that had his signature on it, had signatures on it. So it looks legit, but we don't really know what actually went on. Let's see if he actually does take them to court and wins in this. If they find evidence that Ray J is telling the truth, he could win big for that. Let's move on to our next story. Ghana in December is really heating up. The tickets for Afrochella and Afro Nation were announced and people are not happy. A two-day general admission for Afrochella is $136. And if you wanted the VIP, which I highly recommend because general admission was so far back the last time I went. I don't know if they've changed that up. But VIP is really where you're going to be able to see anything. So if you get those tickets, they are $252. And Afro Nation tickets are not much better. Let me read to you kind of what their bundles entail. General admission for two days is $169. Then the VIP one is $249. But if you want to do... VIP for the three days, which I guess includes some day parties, that is $199. And then your golden ticket for four days, also with some more amenities, is $349. And a golden ticket for four days is $349. It's a lot, y'all. And I... <laughs> It surprised me for sure when I saw these tickets. I'm not going to lie because when I went in 2019, I think I think I paid like maybe $49, $50. Well, Afrochella was one day when I went in 2019, but I felt like that was enough, honestly, and it was 50 days. If it or it was $50. So if it was 2 days, it would be like around $100, right? So now that it's almost $300, what are we doing? This is way too much for even the locals to attend. I need the locals to be there. We didn't go to Ghana. We're not going to Ghana to celebrate with the other tourists. We're going to Ghana to celebrate with the locals. So that's kind of boggling my mind. I hope I don't know how the conversion is for the locals, but I really hope that they will be able to make it and attend the concert that is on their own ground. Like, that doesn't make any sense. I love Ghana. I love what we are doing. We're inviting a lot of people to come to Ghana, which is great. But we have to make things affordable. So what if Americans spend can spend money? So what if tourists can spend money? You guys are getting a lot of money because they're coming there already. So let's do what we can so that everyone can enjoy. And that's all I have to say. How do y'all feel about these ticket prices? And lastly, for our big three, we have some sad news. Rapper PNB Rock was fatally shot in Los Angeles. I believe at a Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. 
he was shot while just having breakfast there with his girlfriend and I believe a couple of other people. The gunman that killed PNB Rock was trying to steal his jewelry and from that he shot and killed him. The police chief has said that they are looking into the case and the cause for why this even happened. They said that it might be because of an Instagram post that PMB Rock's girlfriend posted. It could have also been, you know, the workers there, they saw him. Who knows? I don't think in this situation there's anyone to blame. I do think that we do need to take better precautions as people in general. I know a lot of my friends, they go places, they don't post where they are until after they've left the place. And so just taking better precautions for that can help. But in this situation, it is very sad to hear that a life was lost. And so we wish the best for PMB Rock's family, his child, and everyone mourning his death. That is our big three. Let's head to our weekly wrap up. Disney released the trailer for The Little Mermaid with Halle Bailey. And I am so excited to see it. She looks amazing, sounds amazing. It's going to be the event of the summer when it comes out, okay? Congratulations to Gucci Mane and Keisha Kaor. They are expecting another child. Beyonce threw a disco roller skating party for her 41st birthday. Unfortunately, I couldn't make it. Little Kim and Megan Thee Stallion came out with a remix for Plan B, but fans are left wondering why Megan hasn't really promoted the song. Speaking of the rap girlies, there has been some drama that has been going on this week since the Queen Mix was dropped. Some of the rappers were kind of in their feelings about who was on the song. They kind of gave off that they weren't as happy for the other girls that got to be on the song. Also, Nikki plans to sue a bunch of people who were a part of the hate campaign back in the day when Nikki's song stopped playing on the radio. A lot of people turned on her kind of for no reason and so for those that kind of defamed her character she is going after them with big lawsuits the emmys were on monday and lizzo won for outstanding competition program for her show quinta brunson accepted her award for writing on a comedy series for abbott elementary zendaya won an emmy for lead actress in a drama and cheryl lee ralph brought down the house when she won on her award for best supporting actress in a comedy series congratulations to all the winners that is our weekly wrap up let's head to what's on my playlist what's on my playlist what am i listening to what am i getting into what am i watching so right now i'm watching legacies if you have watched Vampire Diaries and the originals, you may know that there is a spinoff called Legacies. If you have not watched it, make sure you have. It is a little bit corny, I'm not gonna lie. After like such great series, Vampire Diaries and the originals, it kind of goes a little corny in Legacies, but it's good because it's still a play on the monsters and you get to see a different type of um, species that they get to battle. It is their last season. It is out on Netflix and I am catching up right now. Also, Age Sex Location is out by Ari Lennox. It is her new album. I am really enjoying it. I am taking my time before I announce what my favorites are, but I may add it to my playlist next week and you will see what my favorites are but in the meantime just listen to the whole album okay and as you guys know i love to end my show with some positivity and some great vibes today's message is to celebrate all the wins literally every win that you have even waking up in the morning is a win being able to walk to the bathroom is a win anything in your career that you are accomplishing is a win little things i got a mentor last week that was a win for me i didn't kill my plant last week that was a win little things are wins being grateful for the small things ends up welcoming bigger things into your life so make sure you celebrate the small things it makes you more happy it makes you more grateful and then when those bigger things come it feels more worth it that's how people say that moments are kind of fleeting 
You know why? Because you're not celebrating the small things. You're Then when the big things come, you're like, oh, I have to hold on to all of this before it goes away. No, celebrate the small things so that when the big things are there, it feels so much better. Well, thank you guys so much for watching What's the Wahala AC Medasip Pa. I will see you all next week for a new episode. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, all that jazz. See ya. Bye.